Every time I take a break, the game be so boring. Pretty like Naomi, Cassie plus Lorman. Spitting like Wheezy, Foxy plus Lorman. Boy like the Rams, see, now that's Gordon. They don't understand the back talk I'm foreign. When they think they top the queen, they start falling. Word to my ass shots, I'm so cheeky. Got them trying to palm my ass like young Kiki. Yes, I'm ghetto. Word to Geppetto. Plus, I'm Leto. Where's my stiletto? Tell Mike Jordan. Aren't you tired of those sprays that won't stick? Or those glues that take forever to dry? How about when you blow dry your edges and it still doesn't seem like the lace wants to stick down? Who has time for that? But not to fear, Love Me Headband Wig is here. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maureen Yang, if you ain't know. So today we're going to be going over Love Me Hair's headband wig. And as you can see, I'm showing you there's a Velcro strap in the back so you can adjust it to your head. There's two combs in the front, one comb in the back, and I got it in 18 inches body wave. Right here, I'm going to show you what came inside the box. So they gave me five different five different I believe headbands there's a tie-dye one a pink one a brown one and a yellow one and a pink one did I say that it comes with two wig caps it also comes with this little purse bag thingy that has a strap in it to lay your edges an edge brush um a scarf if you choose to do edges with this look, I'm not going to do edges with this look for a more easier feeling. It came with bobby pins and it also came with tweezers. And the favorite thing that it came with for me is the Love Me little clip, little diamond clip. It's so cute. When I tell y'all, I was literally struggling to put this wig on. It took me like a whole five minutes. This wig is not big head friendly like the the band is very stretchy like the headband but the actual like cap that goes over your head like the wefts and stuff it is not big head friendly I know my braids are not flat because I need to get my braids redone underneath this wig but it was not working out for me all right after finally being able to put this wig on when I tell y'all it took me forever to get this thing on because it's not your hair better be flat or you better be bald underneath it because it was not staying down for me at all after that I decided to turn around and give you guys like a length check or like to see how far it comes down on my back it's very natural looking very kind of like it looks like it can almost be your real hair it's not too long it's not too short but it's very cute so to lay down my edges on the side I decided to use Murray's edge wax um I used the edge brush on the side and I clipped it up I know I said I didn't want to do baby hairs for this look because the whole thing about a headband what um wig is to protect your edges I know some people do edges to make it more natural, but y'all know I don't know how to do baby hairs. Not on a wig, not on my own self, but I know how to do the sides. So I decided to do the sides since those little um, B2Bs was sticking out on the side and it just wasn't cute. The next thing I decided to do is show y'all a couple hairstyles that you're able to do with this headband wig. So the first hairstyle I decided to do that was very cute is half up, half down. The next hairstyle I wanted to do and see if it was cute. It was kind of sloppy, but I was just trying to do like a messy bun ready to 
run to the store type of look. But I decided to do a little bun. And it came out actually kind of cute. Not even going to hold you. The next hairstyle, of course, has to be a ponytail or some kind of ponytail. Because if I ever wear this headband to the gym, to work, supermarket, and I'm not trying to show out like that, it's easy to just throw your hair in a ponytail and call it a day. I damn near forgot about the other headband, so I decided to try the pink one on, and it was very cute. Definitely my favorite. There's tie-dye, there's brown, there's gray. That's the one I forgot in the beginning. There's yellow, and they're so cute, and they're so stretchy. Those headbands are big head friendly, so you don't have to worry about that. The last hairstyle I decided to do is kind of like... A 70s, I don't know what they call this hairstyle, but it's like a 70s type vibe where they would wear like the scarf like around the top of their head or the headband like around the perimeter of their head. So I decided to use the gray one for that. And I thought it came out really cute. It looks like very beachy for some reason. It gave me like beach summer vibes, picnic vibes for some reason. Some of my final thoughts about this wig is that it's very natural, very versatile. It's a good length to be like natural. Um, like I said before, you could do baby hairs or not. I just did the little sides because I feel like if you're really on the go and stuff like that and you just need something to throw on for two seconds, you're not going to have time to do baby hairs. So you could just throw it on like this. You could wear it as a middle part. Even though it doesn't really have any parting, I'm wearing it like left and right side um it's a good length i just can't get over the fact how natural it looks like how like it's just such a light it's almost like when you just go to the hairdresser and get your hair done it's like a light natural feeling that i love a lot this hair is and it's so soft it's so soft i hope it stays here stays like this forever i'll definitely be working with them again because this hair is so nice um that's all i have to say the only con that i have to say about this hair is that it's not big head friendly like i feel like if i keep this on all day or for a long period of time it might give me a headache it's not the band that's tight because this is actually the headband is actually very stretchy and i have it on like the last little piece of velcro so it's not the headband it's more about like the cap size of the wig that's very tight and like i said before i know i need to get my braids redone because i had my braids in for so long so my hair is starting to get frizzy underneath but it should still be a little bit more like what if somebody just has a bigger head so i feel like if you if you're a girl like me that has a bigger head um you might struggle to put it on and you might struggle to keep it on for a very long time but i still feel like it's very cute it's just like i see this is definitely i didn't expect it to look this nice on me i thought it was gonna look like very like fake and wiggy but like this is like so cute like this is my new favorite like i really like this and the fact that it's easy sis i might not even wear this to like run to the store or something i might wear this when i actually want to go out because this is actually cute and it comes with all these color bands like sis you're good but um this is so nice um shout out to love me hair um thank you for sending me this wig this hair is so nice um below i would have all the links to the description also there's a discount code named mora for 20 percent off your next purchase these wigs are very affordable and very natural looking and everything will be in the description anything i didn't mention in the video will be in the description i love you guys so much see you in my next video Mwah.